security of IoT, I would say it's mixed. Uh, if you look at established companies, so say for example, white goods manufacturers or the industrial players that are already building connected systems, thankfully some of them already have what I'd say are very large, established, mature business processes, as well as teams. It's sort of the, the what's up and coming is a little bit more frightening because they may not be aware of the challenges they're about to face. And I guess the hope is, is that we can help them bridge that gap and move forward with the technologies that are available today and are now evolving and emerging. To improve it, the first thing, one of the first challenges we always find is just the level of awareness. People think, uh, you know, how bad can a light bulb be or what problem can a, you know, a connected refrigerator or washing machine cause? And if you turn the clock back, this is not the first time where we've gone and, and attached devices to networks that we sort of didn't understand. And I give an example of something like a connected laser printer. You turn the clock back to say maybe 20 years ago when the first printers started to appear on networks and they immediately became the trajectories or the target of attack because if you took out the corporate network printer and say the finance and HR department, you probably got through to the server with all the personal information, payroll and banking information too. So put that in an industrial context and take out a light bulb and see where it gets you. This is, this is sort of the frightening part. Security is about isolation of domains. It is about the creation and enforcement across that boundary. So you have to have a hardware mechanism or in the physical world you, have a, you potentially have a lock. The objective is to have the mechanism so that it cannot be bypassed as well. So this is where the details in the hardware really matter. Multiple domains actually make, can help you move forward a lot. In the creation of the multiple secure domains, you still need to be able to enforce the separation between them. But what it does, when you consider the case of, say, multi-tenancy, or the requirement to have multiple trusted applications available concurrently, the hardware separation between those, between those domains and the resources is just as important as the separation between, say, secure and not secure. I'm Philip Atfield from Seattle, and today I'm very purple.